pinaka-aabangan nating mga Hollywood action-packed mm -hmm. films ay mga brilliant minds who worked hard to give us the most satisfying movie experience. Siyempre. Yan, sa mga pelikulang ito, isa sa mga pinakamalaking factor mm -hmm. ang visual effects. Mm -hmm. Kasi it gives more flavor sa mga pinapanood natin. Oh. At syempre ngayong umaga, napakaswerte po natin lahat. Ayan. Dahil makakausap natin live via Skype, ang visual effects artist na nasa likod ng YouTube page na The Box Office Artist and worked for different Hollywood films katulad ng Fantastic Four. Oh. At syempre, ang aking paborito, ang uh, Fast and the Furious 7. Yeah. Let's all welcome Mr. James Reyes. Good morning, James. And good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Ayan, so good morning Paul. Thank you so much for uh, having me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, and we appreciate yeah. having yes. you with us. Okay, so you're a visual artist. So how, do you st how did you start working for the visual effects field? Well, I've always been drawing ever since I was a small kid. Mm -hmm. uh, my, la my last year of high school, I told my mom, I'm not going to be a doctor anymore. I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> okay. And she liked it very much. <laughs> so I, I went to college for art, and then I actually worked in comic books. Uh, okay. Wow. Mm. So you started in comic yes. books. I worked, yes, I worked, on, um, I worked for Marvel and DC. I worked on Wonder Woman and wow. Incredible wow. Hulk. Yes, wow. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, well, it's amazing. It's also my dream to uh, to become an animator, actually. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> but now I'm a host. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from doing comic books, from being in art school, doing comic books, drawing, how did you get the chance to work on, in films such as Fantastic Four and Furious 7? Those are big titles. Yeah. Like, mm. how, how did that happen? I, uh, around uh, 2007, uh, I went back to school mm -hmm. and I took uh, animation and mm -hmm. uh, okay. visual effects. From there, I got a job opportunity. My first job was at MGM mm -hmm. okay. and uh, I worked on a st the Stargate at the time. That was my very first visual effects job. And my main job is pretty much uh, filling in the green screen. So oh, okay. the, uh, they would discuss the footage wow. uh, with the uh, actors screen and our job is to Gally. fill it in, whether that be 3D or with um, you know with uh, pictures or whatever. So uh, yeah, and it just went from there. So from there, my first job, I got uh, other job opportunities, and depending on the company I work for, uh, they would give the the work. Right now, I work for a company called Pixelmundo, and mm -hmm. uh, last year we got the chance to work on uh, Furious Seven and for Fantastic Four as well. So wow. it's a lot of wow. fun. Wow. Okay, so doing the green screen. The green screen, like I, I know a little bit about that. That's called chroma key selection, yeah. right? Yeah. It's chroma key. Yeah, para sa mga pambansa natin at home, yung mga nakita mm. yung mga visual effects, mm. like yung malalake, yung may mga futuristic na designs. Parek. They are shot on a large studio na may green, green screen. screen. And right now we're talking to the one responsible for that, so it's really an honor. And yes. I can only imagine that it's very hard mm. to do that, mm. diba? Mm -hmm. But so, if you love what you're doing, mm -hmm. wala namang mahirap, yeah. diba? Eh, siya naman, since bata pa lang yes. talaga, yun ay yung healing niya, eh. Exactly. So, did, you, did you start from, uh, you know, drawing on 100 pages and then flipping the it? The flip book. Yeah, <laughs> did you start doing that? Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was way, way back then. Huh? <laughs> yes. Um, For classical at well, uh, okay. All my stuff, it's on uh, co the computer book. So mostly, mm, uh, okay. Really well, what are the challenges that mm. you usually encounter while doing your work as a visual artist? Uh, it, uh, number one is uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time when you see a movie with uh, things that look really bad, it's yeah. usually because the studio ran out of money oh. uh, to pay out of time. Uh, a lot of the directors, well, they're very specific in what they want. They want to keep making changes. Mm -hmm. uh, right until they run out of time. So they'll keep making changes, changes, changes until they run out of time. But that's just the way it is. So, mm. so that, but that's just part of, part yes. of the job. I got, I got one silly question, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get pasma? You know pasma? <laughs> when you draw too much, you wash your hands. Do they shake? <laughs> Well, my hands fall asleep a lot, but uh, I do uh, get the little carpal tunnel a little bit. It gets uh, 
It does shake actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but the good thing is they do everything now on a tablet. So, yeah. Yeah. so you don't have to worry about any papers getting wet. Yeah. yeah it's much easier now, yeah. I guess, than before than the traditional yeah. <laughs> drawing on a 100 page paper yes. like Walt Disney, you remember? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, please tell us your insight about the latest film of DC Comics. Batman versus Superman. Yeah. What can you say about the visual effects of Batman and Superman? Well, uh, the visual effects, a lot of it done by um, MPC, the, they are, they are very stunning. They, they are amazing in what they were able to do. Uh, of course, with uh, a movie like this, they have big budget, lots of money mm -hmm. uh, to do this. They had a lot of time to work on it, and uh, their visual effects were amazing. I think mm. uh, it got a lot of uh, mixed reviews. Uh, exactly. Movie, but that, I think... But I think that's more for story yes, as story, opposed yes. to the actual mm -hmm. text, the, the scenes, the visuals. Uh, Wonder Woman looked amazing. Uh, oh, all the characters, they looked uh, fantastic. I love like, Wonder Woman. <laughs> we look the same. <laughs> yeah. We're like twins. <laughs> all right. Okay, so, sir, please tell, tell us about your page, the box office artist. Okay, so what, what is this about? Like, how did you come up with it? And what are the contents of the page? Sure. Uh, well, while working in movies, I don't get to work on comic books as much as I would like to. So my YouTube channel, it's a way for me to uh, still do something comic booky without doing comic books. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> what I do is I do a lot of speed drawing and I do a lot of tributes to movies as mm -hmm. well. A movie would come out and then I would draw like a mural or a, a big image and then um, I, w I would put it to music, and so kind of like make a, a music video tribute or a trailer mm. to the upcoming movie. So I did one for Batman vs. Superman, as well as uh, some others uh, coming up. So it's, it's a way for me to do comics without doing comics. Oh, wow. All right. So better check the YouTube yeah. channel. Sir, with all, the, with all the success that you have right now, do you have any inspiring message to anyone who already have the talent like yours and also um, wanted to work in the film industry? I, I think uh, just like anything else, whether you wanted to be a singer or an actor mm. or a doctor, it's all about working hard mm. and you know, really focusing on what you want to do. If what you want to do is draw comic books, if what you want to do is work in film, you do whatever you can to get into that industry and then sometimes people don't understand what you're trying to do mm -hmm. mm. but as <laughs> like my mom she still thinks I'm unemployed right now <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as long as I know and as long as there is an industry out there and as long as someone has the passion has the heart and works really hard they can yeah. be whatever they want to be so just work hard and mm. they can be whatever they want to be, you know you I'm know. pretty That's sure James I'm pretty sure James that uh, a lot of our, I know, our uh, viewers right now who love to draw, they are saying that you are definitely living the dream right now. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And I can really say that art as itself, like, I, I know that this might sound of offensive to some artists, but believe me, I'm with you on this one. Because they always have this argument that art, doing art is not a real job. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it truly really is. Like, when you are an artist, you have to strive to push and fight for your own style and usually companies go there and demand that you do something that is really not you mm -hmm. so it's very inspiring to see sir james doing his own thing on youtube at right. the same time mm -hmm. getting to work with all these big companies it's really inspiring especially for the young artists of today yeah, yeah. exactly but i have a question for you, james do you have any plans of visiting the country soon uh, uh, God, God willing, maybe. Um, I was there uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, hopefully soon uh, I will be doing some conventions. Okay. In Asia. Wow. Oh. So I, I will see if I can uh, make it to Comic the Philippines, and if I do, you'll be the first to know. All right. Yeah. All right. Please drop by the studio and edit our OBVs. <laughs> 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 <Just kidding. laughs> drop by so we can talk to you here live. Exactly. Via Skype. We look forward to having you. Anyway, oh, thank you so job. much, James, for sharing and for uh, for inspiring all our mm -hmm. viewers mm. today, this so morning. Anyway, <laughs> nako may mga katanungan pa kay Sir James. 
Um, I think Chadlin is going there in a couple of I know. weeks. Oh. I'll yeah, send I her know. a comic book and then maybe yeah, James can, can sign, some sign it for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope to meet you. We could go karaoke. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. We could have to do it. Bottom figure, uh, si James. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so maybe we can hear a little bit of sample. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sample, sample. Oh, no. Can you sing for Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just draw it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so thank you, Sir James Rice, for joining us this morning. I'm Take sure. care, James. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Wow. Nakakatuwa. Grabe. Grabe, di ba? Oh. And he's very... It's, he's a very jolly person. Yeah. Okay, I always assume that ano, eh, pag arti pag artists are very... Like, they're very... Deep. Serious. They're, they're very well within their own personal space. They're mm. very antisocial at some times. Mm. But you can see Sir James is very, ano, ah, very bubbly, very mm. friendly. And I'm super excited. Talaga. Exactly, yeah. diba? Yeah, Imagine, uh, 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 medyo likas sa kanila. Naku eh, kung ikaw ba naman, yung, yung passion, you're working for, uh, I mean, you're working on what you love and mm. then you're getting, I'm sure, a lot of money. Yes. Mm. So it's a big company. It's a big movie. Sure. Eh, bakit naman hindi ka magiging masayang masaya? Correct. Diba nga? Eh, sabi nga nila eh, find something that you, you love, love doing mm. and you won't have to work for the rest of your yes. life. Yes. So technically, tama yung nanay niya na unemployed siya. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> unemployed pero kumikita ng malaki. Kumikita ng malaki. Yes. Right. Anyway, naku, marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. Magbabalik pa ang pambansang almusal.